Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. Here's a super quick video for complete beginners. Let's see how to download Unity, how to create a new project, and set it up so you can get started building games. Also in the end, I will show some links and video references where you can continue your learning journey. There's timestamps in the video if you want to skip ahead. So let's get started right away from the beginning. First up, you need to download Unity. So for that, just go into unity.com. Then over here, click on the top right on the big Get Started button. And when you do, it takes you to this page where you can see all of the plans and pricing. Chances are the one that you want is over here on the individual tab. So if you click on it over here, you see the personal, which is completely free. Also, just one quick note so you don't get confused with all the plans. Basically, don't worry about the fact that there are multiple. All of them, the engine is exactly the same. There's no limitations on the free version compared to the paid version, nothing like that. The engine is the same on all of them. The only difference is over here, the eligibility. You can only use the free personal version if you have revenue or funding of less than 100k in the last 12 months. Now, if you're watching this complete beginner video, then chances are you're just getting started, so the free version is more than perfect. So go ahead, click on Get Started. Then you download. You can download for Windows or Mac or Linux. Personally, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on the big button. This downloads the Unity Hub. Unity Hub is the program to manage all of the various Unity versions and all of your various Unity projects. So just go ahead, install it, and open. Okay, so here we have the Unity Hub, and right away it asks you to sign in or create an account. If you already have an account, go ahead and sign in. If not, click on Create. You just fill in your data and create. Then back into Unity Hub, now you can sign in. Next up, it asks you about a Unity version, and by default, at the time of recording, it selects version 2021.3 LTS. Now, if you want to learn more about Unity versions, then I made a quick video explainer. In there, I explain what is LTS, what is tech, preview, and what all the numbers mean. So go watch that video if you want to learn some more, but over here, Unity Hub already selects the best version you should be using, which in this case, version 21.3, which is the latest LTS version. So just go ahead, choose that one, choose a folder and install. Then it asks you to select a license. Like I said, the personal license is exactly the one you want. The only limitation is having revenue under 100k per year. But again, if you're watching this beginner video, I'm guessing this is perfect for you. So go ahead and select it. It will automatically begin downloading the entire editor. Okay, so when it's done, you can close the downloads window. Then over here, we can see the full Unity Hub. On the side view, we can see the various tabs. You have the Learn tab. This has a bunch of official Unity links where you can learn how to do all kinds of things with Unity. Then you also have the Community tab, a bunch of links for the forums, documentation, and so on. Then the Installs tab is where you can download other Unity versions. And for what we want right now, let's go into the Projects tab, then click on the Create New Project button. Now in this window up top, we can see the version selector. If you have multiple versions installed, then you can choose which one you want to use for this new project. In our case, we just have one version, so let's keep using that one. Next up, we need to select the template. There's a whole bunch of them, depending on what kind of game you want to make. You can see the categories over here on the side. By default, it starts by showing you the Unity micro games. These are small, complete games on various genres. They are complete projects, so these can be great for learning as a beginner. So maybe you can look into these ones later. But in this video, we want to create a brand new empty project, so let's keep looking. Then you have the sample scenes. These are pre-configured to work with a certain render pipeline, and they have a really nice demo scene set up. Speaking of render pipelines, Unity has three of them. There's the legacy built-in render pipeline, the universal render pipeline, or URP, and the high-definition render pipeline, or HDRP. Now, if you're a beginner, you don't need to worry about that at all. Just choose the universal render pipeline, or URP, and you're good to go. It's what I always use. It's perfect for 99% of use cases. You can make games that run on mobile, desktop, console, or anything. So it runs on everything, and it also looks great. So here we see the various samples. There's one for HDRP, one for URP, and a cinematic sample. But again, let's keep searching. Then we have the core templates. You have a 2D and a 3D template. These two are for the legacy render pipeline, so don't use these. Then you have the same two for URP, and the final ones for HDRP. Down here, you also have the official Unity start assets. We're actually going to be using this in a bit, but like I said, right now we want to create a completely new empty project. In most cases, you want to be using URP, so you should choose one of these two. If you want to make a 2D game, choose 2D. If not, choose 3D. By the way, also just another quick note here. Choosing a template doesn't really block you from anything, meaning you can choose to start with the 3D template and then make a 2D game, or you can pick the 2D template and then make a 3D game. Basically, what these templates do is they just install a bunch of relevant packages. 
So the 2D template, when you create it, it already has lots of 2D packages added, so you can make sprites, style maps, and so on. And the 3D template already comes with 3D packages. But again, after creating the project, you can install any more packages you want. So like I said, don't worry too much about choosing the quote unquote wrong template. Whatever you select, you can then later on do anything in any dimension. So over here, I'm going to choose the 3D URP template, then go ahead and download it. Now just give it a project name, name it whatever you want. You select the folder where you want the project to be created. And finally, when everything is set up, just go ahead, click on create. Okay, so with that, the project is being created. Now let's just wait a bit. And yep, over here is the main Unity window. By default, you can see it already comes with a bunch of packages pre-installed. And over here on the assets, you can see a nice readme file. If you want to learn more about the universal render pipeline, over here you've got some documentation, forms, and so on. Or if you want, you can also clean it up. So click on the button to remove the readme assets, and there you go, it cleans it up. All right, so now let's just quickly get something playable. Like I mentioned, Unity has some excellent free start assets that are really awesome. They are really great starting points. So over here on the Unity Asset Store, let's find the Unity Star Assets. You can use the search bar or just go over here under the Essential tab. Let's go to the ones by Unity. Now here we see all of Unity's assets and over here we've got these two, the Star Assets, the Third Person Controller and the First Person Controller. These are really excellent starting points. So just go ahead and pick which one you want. For me, I'm going to choose the Third Person Star Controller. So just go here and click on the button to add to your assets. Then click on the button to open it in Unity. With this, it opens up the package manager and automatically scrolls down into the start assets. Just in case this doesn't happen automatically, you can always just go into window, open up the package manager. Then on the package manager on the top left corner, click on this drop down menu and select my assets. Then on the search bar here, you can search for star assets. And yep, here we see both of them. So just go ahead and click on the button to download. In my case, I just need to update. Then click on import. Here's the import window. Let's make sure all of them are selected. So click on all and let's import. Okay, after a while, everything is important. Now for this specific asset, this uses the new input system. Again, as a beginner, don't worry too much, but when working with this asset, let's go ahead and click on yes to make sure we switch the new input system. Okay, so it restarted the editor. Also, just in case you click on no in that one, you can also go into edit, then go into the project settings. Then here, scroll down and find the player tab, then scroll down and under other settings, down here, we can find the input system. So here it is, the active input handling. And basically clicking on yes, simply swapped it from the input manager into new input system. So just in case you click on no, you can go up here and manually swap into this one or you can select both of them. Okay, so with that, now we see all of our star assets. So let's go inside and let's go inside the third person controller inside the scenes folder. And over here, we've got the playground scene. Let's open this. And by default, we see this in pink. Now, if you don't know, pink usually means a shader error. So what we have here is because by default, these assets are imported using the legacy render pipeline. But again, if you remember, we select the universal render pipeline. Again, this is not a problem. It's super easy to convert. So for that, let's go up here into window, then go into rendering and let's find the render pipeline converter. And on this one, on the drop down menu, let's select upgrade from built in to URP. Then just go ahead and toggle this checkbox next to material upgrade. This will automatically upgrade all of the materials. So let's click to initialize the converter. Now it finds all of the materials that need importing. Just click on convert assets and it does it automatically and we can see the background already updates. So we can just go ahead, exit this. Now hit on the play button. And yep, here it is. Here we have our project created and we have a character. We can walk around, we can jump, we can do anything we want. All right, awesome. So this is a great starting point to build upon. Now, one thing you should probably do is move around these windows to organize your layout to something that feels comfortable to you. All of these windows, all of these tabs, like for example, the game window, you can swap it out, drag it over here, create a new one and so on. So all of these can be placed exactly where you want it. You can define the kind of layout that you like. And then when you have that, you can go up here to the top right corner, click on the layout button, and then you can click on the button to save your layout. Or if you already have a layout, just like I have my layout, you can just go ahead, click to select it and it automatically loads the previous layout. So for me, after using Unity for over 10 years, this is the layout that I like. So I like to have the inspector on the side, down here, the hierarchy, next to it, the project over here with a nice compact list, then next to it, the console tab. And in the main big window, I've got the game and next to it, the scene view. So again, this is the layout that I personally like, but you can go ahead and select anything. And with this, here it is, here we have our fully working star project. So now that you know how to create a brand new Unity project, if you want to get a super quick overview of the Unity basics, then check out this other video explaining tons of Unity things in just 17 minutes. There's links in the description. 
and then the Unity programming language is C-sharp. If you want to learn the basics, I also have another video on it. And after that, after learning the absolute basics, you can start to look for more complex things. You can use the various search buttons on my website to find video tutorials on all kinds of topics. Maybe you can learn some more about C-sharp, maybe learn about events, delegates, or more advanced things. Or you can get started making a really versatile grid system, which allows you to make a city builder, factory game, Tetris inventory system, and much more. You can learn how to make Unity Glow, how to use Sin Machine to control your cameras, how to do character customization or just swap out your character, learn where you can get free characters and animations, how to make a 2D character controller, how to build a crafting system, or make a third person shooter controller. So I've been making videos for over four years now, I've got tons of tutorials on lots of topics, over 500 videos. So if you browse around, you'll find something for whatever you want to learn. Or if you prefer a more guided path, then check out my complete step-by-step -step courses. I have a course on making a Builder Defender game using c -sharp, just like I make my own Steam games. Or if you prefer visual scripting, then I made a complete course on that. It involves making three unique games, all entirely with visual scripting, there isn't a single line of code in any of these games. Or if you want to learn about all of the tools the engine has and check out what they do, you can go watch my Ultimate Unity Overview course. Each lecture is on explaining a different tool or feature of the engine. And then once you know the basics, and you feel really confident that you're ready to make the jump from beginner to advanced, at that point you can get my turn-based strategy course. I designed it specifically to help guide you and take you from beginner to advanced. So in that course I assume you know the absolute basics and then help you take the leap to the next level by making a more complex game using things like c -sharp generics, delegates, using Sin Machine, AI, and all of it while focusing on writing good clean code. Again this one is a more advanced course, if you're a beginner make sure you learn the basics first. Alright, so that's my super quick getting started guide for creating a new Unity project. The engine is capable of anything, so the only limit is really just your own skills and your imagination. Now go ahead and start learning and building your dream games. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.